Hello, this is Gary and I have another video for you today. Today I'll be doing a review of the Caran d'Ache Super Color Soft uh, Super Color 2 Watercolor Pencil Color. I have this set of 18 and um, let's get started. So what I do with my review, an overview of the product and then I'm going to show you a sketch that I made and then we're going to swatch the colors after that and then after the swatch we're going to do a comparison with other brands of water soluble pencil media all right so let's get started these are made by karen dosh they're called the super color colored pencils they are watercolor pencils made by karen dosh in switzerland uh you can see um i should put these all but you can see hold on let me get a different color here we go. You can see this is a nice uh, darkish color. You can see it's a Swiss made, so they're made in Switzerland. Um, they are a dry pencil that turns into watercolor when activated with water. The core is 3.8 millimeter core, so that's a nice big core. It's a hexagon. It's a hexagonal pencil. Um, which means that it has these flat sides um, and like all uh, like not all but like many water soluble pencil media that has a little brush here to tell you that these are the water soluble media which is helpful because the Pablos are almost identical except for the name and the brush um, and then it gives you the name of the color the number and I think the number is to help you reorder as well as the light fast rating and there's a barcode closer to the top um, so there's that um, they are let me see they are medium soft pencil they're soft but they're not like as soft as like the prismacolor um but they are relatively soft um and they do feature a cedar wool a cedar wood they are sold let me get this here so you guys can see they are sold open socks in sets of 12 now i couldn't find the price for a set of 12 but there is a set of 12 and i guess um it was sold out at the time that i checked um but there's a set of 18 for 31 there's a set of 30 for $50, a set of 40 for $65, a set of 80 for $123, a set of 120 for $95, and it comes in a wood case and a uh, wood case of 80 and a wood case of 120 as well as special edition wood cases. Now I did add both the set of 120 um, in the regular and the set, the wood case of 80, um, which I think was actually more than this on um, Amazon to my Amazon wish list just before I did this review um, because somebody got very upset that I had the set of like 80 on my wish list so then I was like okay well you know um, I just put the set of 120 <laughs> Um, but anyway, you should, um, if you, if you like these pencils, definitely consider getting a larger set. I felt really limited by having the set of 18. Um, like I said, there is a set of 12 and they are sold open stock, but I really feel like the set of 18 is probably the minimum that I recommend people get. Um, probably closer to, if you want to start off with a small set and then see if you want to get them. Um, I would recommend either going open stock or, um, or getting the set of 18. I, I really don't recommend the set of 12 just because because for me, even with the set of 18, it was still very limited. Um, and it's not really a set of 18 because you get the white. Um, so it's really a set of 17 um, if you don't count the white, which I don't count the white. Um, I do use the white sometimes, but I don't really count it. Um, so there's that. Um, so they are uh, color indexed with the other lines of the Karen Dosh product. Uh, let me show you. This is the Pablo. Now they also open like this and um, if you saw me I did tape my color swatches. They do a really good job of matching the color to the uh, the color to the swatch but I still decided to do that just for my own sake. But you can see that they're quite similar um, to the Pablo's. Um, the difference is that the Pablo has a little stripe at the end um, and also that the um, the name and that this has a brush on there but these are they're not like the um, the fabric has style polychromos and the fabric has style Arbic Dur where the shape is different the shape is actually um, very similar so there's that so keep that in mind and they are color indexed so um, so you can use them together so there's that and then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to show you guys a sketch. So I'm going to take a quick break and then get out um, a sketch that I made. And then we're going to swatch out the colors. All right, I am back and I want to show you these is the uh, swatching that I did earlier. Let me move this out the way because that's going to be distracting. These is the swatching of the colors that I did earlier. And then we're going to see my swatching. But this is the sketch that I made. This is my first time doing a can 
of soda. Like I said, I'm not really um, an artist, but I did this little miniature Sprite can um, sketch and this was when I felt the most limited. Um, I wanted different shades of green. So I definitely, um, if you get, you know, if you get a couple of these open stock and you decide you like them, I would re definitely recommend, um, once you've tried them out, once you decide you like them to get the larger set you can afford. Um, I felt myself especially limited with the greens. Um, but I was able to get this done. I did use a little bit of the opaque white pen. Um, I think it's a Uniball Signal that I just got in the mail a few days ago. So I used the Uniball Signal um, opaque white pen to do some of the highlights. But for the most part, and this is uh, the black uh, pencil. And it's actually a nice dark black too. Um, so I did this sketch. Um, I did have a little bit of problems getting this shadow because I couldn't get the exact kind of like dark black blue that I like to use for shadows and I still really enjoy doing this um, and it was just I don't know it was just a lot of fun and I, and I totally enjoy doing this can um, these are the colors and we're gonna see my full swatch in a minute um, where you can see that they these are really highly pigmented um, definitely artist grade now uh, Karen Dosh has a line called the Museum Aquarelle those are considerably more expensive those are about sixty dollars for a set of 20. i don't have any of those um i know a few people who do i don't have any of those but i did hear that they're very nice um i don't even have them on my wish list that's how expensive they are uh but you know but there's that so that was the sketch that i made and then this is the page that i did um and it's not finished because i feel like i always take a lot i feel like it's always harder to finish these larger pages than it is to finish the smaller pages that i use for um for dry colored pencils when i do wet media i feel like it's much harder to have the page completed by the time i get to the review but um but i am fairly far along in this and i just wanted to show you um that i did all this with just a few colors that came in the set now for some of these i created a wash and if you've seen my video there'll be a link up there on seven ways to use watercolor pencils um, and so this is the way that I did some of these things is I created a wash. Another way is that I just, you know, um, there's a couple of sections here where I actually used wet pencil. Um, right here, I just laid down the wet pencil and that's what gave me those super dark, dark lines. Um, so that's basically it. And I did a lot of pulling of the colors. Um, so there's that. But either way, this was, a, this was really, really a lot of fun. Um, I do want to show you this because they blend really well. I want to show you these two colors here the color that's in here and then also this sort of like yellowish brown uh, if you can see from the included colors there's not really that almost flesh tone pink right there that's not really um like a european flesh tone here there's not really a color like that in set but i did it i was able to after i complained earlier about how i don't count the white i did use a little bit of the white to um to tone that down and i didn't use the white here but you can see what a sort of natural color you get even from these really vibrant colors that are in the set and how you can blend them really nicely to get some really natural um, softer colors. This is my completed page. So we've done the completed page. So now we are going to do some, oh, that's the other thing is sometimes it does move around a little bit. Um, so like sometimes when it's like, if you don't close it all the way, this is not as snug as I would like. The tin is a very nice, high quality tin. Oh, I didn't talk about the tin yet. So um, so it's good that this happened, but this does sometimes happen where they get moved a little bit out of line and then you have to kind of um, put them back in. So there's that. And I'm not sure um, if that's just a matter of, you know, whatever, but it has happened to me a lot with both this one and the Pablos. So just be mindful of that when you travel. Um, but the tin is a very nice, high quality tin. You can, it's kind of hard to see, but there's some information written in multiple languages. It did come with a little booklet that was not very good. Um, and it's over there somewhere. Um, it's just some very, very basic information on watercolor pencils, but, um, all right. So now that we have done that part, let us do some swatching. Hold on. Um, I'm trying to figure out, I don't think I need to pause the video uh, cause I know, you know, everybody's busy and nobody wants to see me mill around pausing the video for too long. All right, same as before. I'm gonna use the brush, dip it in water um, just so that I don't have to spend too much time drying it off. And um, let's get started. So what I have here, this is the Supercolor 
this is the super color uh wet uh the super color pencil and then the line in there in the middle that's actually a pablo so i want to show you how good the color indexing is um, i think the only place that does better color indexing is um fabric castell see i had a feeling that's what was going to happen so that's why i used the back so they're really the only ones that I've seen that have color indexing as good as this one. But anyway, that was the lemon yellow. This one is called just simply yellow. You can see how good that color indexing is. And you can see how strong that pigment is once we pull that pigment out. And there's still some more left in the brush too. Um, so there's that. So this is just called the orange. The other thing I found about these pencils more so than the Albrecht Durer is that some colors pull further and easier than other colors. Now that is something that I have found pretty much to be the case across all the sort of water soluble media that some colors just have slightly different properties when you're when you're trying to pull them out, especially when you're doing a side by side test. I don't think you feel it when you're just using them because then they're they're blended and so on. But when you're doing these side by side tests, I definitely feel like I feel it. Um, and so this is a color where I really this is uh, a certain colors where I really feel like that orange um, I felt was a little bit harder to pull than some of these other colors. Um, but you can see this one was a little bit that scarlet in the middle was super easy to pull. So it's that orange scarlet and then this is a carmine color um so that's something that but i just want to show you how nice the color indexing is on that uh this is called the purple which i am offended by um this is clearly not a purple this is a a variant of pink um and this is something that Karen Dosh does across all their lines, but you can see how the color is basically the same and how this purple is a little bit harder to pull than some of the other colors um, and how that red pulled out right away. So that's something that um, that is more the case with these than with the Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer. Now the other thing too that I like here versus the Albrecht Durer is that this is just a different range of colors and the quality is quite it's quite nice. Um, I'm not sure, see how the difference is between how this, vi this violet, which is actually a purple pulled, and how the purple, which is actually a pink pulled, um, but you can see that, that there's a difference in how different colors pull. And that is something that I found across um, water-soluble lines of pencil. Um, but anyway, um, in terms of the difference between this and the fabric Castell Albrecht Durer, one of the biggest differences is the fact that the Albrecht Durers don't lift as easily as these do. So these, these lift much, much easier than the Albrecht Durer. Um, which is fine if that's what you want to do, but it's it's a little bit more challenging for layering. Um, as you saw with my Sprite, you can totally layer, but it does take a little bit more planning. So in terms of how well, you know, in terms of how easily things lift, I would say that of the artist grade products, this one I think lifts easier than either the Ink Tents or He wasn't doing that all day. He just started doing it now. Um, anyway, <laughs> lifts easier than either the ink tents, which is relatively difficult to lift, um, but it's still possible. Um, and the Albrecht Durer, which is um, just easier to lift than the ink tents, but harder to lift than these. Uh, but you can see that you can get this color moving. Um, so overall, I really, I really like these uh, these pencils. I find them to be uh, quite vibrant. As you, as you guys are seeing right now, is the the level of vibrancy here. Again, the very slight differences in how easy it is to pull the color. I don't feel that you feel that. Like I never felt that difference affect the actual coloring like when i was doing the actual coloring um i only felt that difference you know for doing things like this like when i'm doing like side by side and i have these colors right next to each other and i'm doing one right after the other right after the other but once you blend them in it's much much easier 
um, and they all, it feels much, much more uniform and they all do move pretty much along the same um, kind of level. This is one of those colors that I found was very difficult to lift. Um, but you know, when you, when you doing stuff, you, you're, you know, you're layering and stuff. So it's not as, it's not as challenging and certainly by, I mean, very difficult, very difficult compared to the other ones. This is definitely easier to lift than something like, you know, the Crayola or something like that. All right. I just squirted out a bunch of water. Okay. I just made a mess. <laughs> okay. I just made a mess because I just squirted it out entirely too much water. So I just made a mess here. Um, so that happened. Um, oops. <laughs> um, okay. So now I learned my lesson. No squirting out of the water while I'm doing these reviews. I, you know, this umber that's here, I called it a, a, I don't know if it's somebody will, somebody will say if it's a raw umber or something like that, but that's kind of what I want to call it. I want to call it like a dark raw umber but i'm not sure somebody somebody will somebody will have comments as to what kind of umber this is um or if it's just a umber umber and then the black which i was really impressed by how dark this black is um if you've seen my previous reviews you know i'm pretty interested in having nice deep dark blacks and this black definitely lived up to my expectations about what i want from my black um, pencils so i was really happy with this black and the last one is this gray here, which we can pull out. But you see how much color gets pulled out here. All right. All right, so um, without moving it around too much, because we already had some water spillage, I may have put the colors a little bit closer than I should have. But at the end of the day, um, the main thing that I want you guys to see is I want you guys to see the color indexing, how well it is, um, and how nicely these colors match together. So you can use both of these together. If you have one, um, then the other will definitely benefit you, similar to the Albrechter in the polychromos um the other thing that i want to show you is i just want to show you how much pigment is laid down and um how much pigment you can just move around i mean it's it's these are really really highly pigmented pencils uh, i i it's just I, I it's literally the 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 only twos that even come close to be to having this level of pigmentation is the albrechter um polychromos and the not the Albuquerque, probably the Faber Castell, Albuquerque, and the Ink Tents. But again, the Ink Tents are ink and are not nearly as light fast as these, um, whereas these are watercolor. So if you want a more traditional watercolor experience, this of of all the watercolor pencils that I that I reviewed, um, if you want a more traditional watercolor experience, this is going to be the one that's going to give you the closest thing to just using watercolor paints. Um, so I'm going to take a break and then we're going to have the other ones that we're going to do side okay, by so side. Okay, so before I start the actual comparison of the different brands using this little chart that I made up, I do want to show you this real quick. Um, um, I talked a little bit about the layering and so that's one of the things here is you can layer, but if you can see a little bit of the yellow here has, has lifted off and made a more orangey color. Um, of the red um, and you can also blend the colors which is the easiest way not blend the colors, sorry mix the colors um, the easiest way to create a mix and to create a new color is to take the red and the yellow and then mix them in while it's dry and then apply water and that will give you a mix if you want to layer the colors it is possible to layer but you will see that these will lift much more easier than they do on the um, albrechter and certainly much more easier than they did on the ink tents so that's something to keep in mind about the the layering so that you can plan accordingly all right so there's that all right so here we are with the um karen dash super color and um as always i'll just compare it to all the water soluble media that i've done in the past you can see obviously much improved over the crayola um just the not only in the vibrancy but also the evenness across um and the crayola has has shown some fading um, so there's that the credit color merino, which I did I did get a set of these and I haven't done a review mainly because I I wasn't really that impressed in terms of price 
they are quite pricey, but in terms of, at least here in the U.S., but in terms of quality, the quality is not really um, as high as I would like to see it. Um, and so the quality, I didn't think, matched the price. So I haven't really reviewed the um, the Credit Color Merino, but you can see the colors are not as vibrant um, as they are with the Caran d'Ache Merino. The Coronor Mandalus, I was actually really impressed by that. Um, you can see there's been a little bit of fading there, but you can see that these are actually really quite vibrant and quite nice. The um, the bottom one is the Coronor Mandalus, and the top is the um, Caran d'Ache Super Color. But you can see from the Mandalus that it's actually not bad. These are actually really impressive. There is some fading in the red already, um, as well as some additional fading in the blue and some in the yellow. So your primaries are already starting to show some signs of fading. So that's really one of the big differences once you get higher end is in terms of how easily they dissolve as well as as well as the pigmentation and finally as well as the light fastness, which here is probably not particularly high. Um, next up is the Derwent um, set of 24 and I found this to be one of the least impressive in terms of watercolor pencils Just the colors are just not particularly vibrant. They seem a little bit almost muddy um, So I really was not impressed with this set and the Caran d'Ache um, Super color does cost a bit more but you also you see what it is that you pay for in the addition of the additional price that you get much more vibrancy and uh, much more cleaner colors um, you can see these orange blends how they they don't really look you know the same um, the the Derwent watercolor orange is almost a muddy color um, the same with this um, with this green that was layered and you see how the the Derwent green is is almost a muddy green um, so there's that with the Derwent now here's the ink test now these are ink and not watercolor and so they are um, they do they are not entirely permanent but they're definitely extremely hard to lift um, so when you when you lay them down um, and so that's one of the qualities of the ink and so in exchange you get something that's not as light fast as um, the uh, Caran d'Ache Super Color, um, but you can see that the vibrancy is there and the ink tense is definitely much more affordable than the Super Color, but you can see that you do get a lot of uh, similar vibrance for some colors. Um, the red, you see the, the you see it's almost indistinguishable in terms of the red and some of the blues. Um, and in some cases, I actually think that these two greens, um, they're different colors, but the but the ink tense is definitely much more vibrant um, here. Um, and I said that when I did my ink tense review that for the price, this is probably the most vibrant colors that you're going to get for the price are the ink tense watercolors, um, the ink tense um, water soluble pencil. Um, these are the Albert Dirt, which are my favorite. I think they're a good mix between the two. Um, they layer much better than the Caran d'Ache Super Color, um, uh, uh, but they're also much more vibrant. Um, so here in the US, I think that the Albert Dirt is probably still my favorite, but you can see definitely that the vibrancy is there with the um, with the Caran d'Ache Super Color. I mean, it's it's quite, quite nice. They did a really, really good job here um, in terms of the, the vibrancy with the Super Color. Um, it's really, really well done. And then uh, finally, the Magnus, which is similar to the, which is almost the same. It's a larger format, it's a softer pencil. Um, but overall, I really, I'm really, really impressed with these Super Colors, um, especially if you like the color sets that are here especially if you like the colors that are in the super color set it's it, it honestly will not disappoint um, these are really vibrant pencils um, violent watercolor pencils with just the most that probably the highest the highest end traditional watercolor pencils that I have tried um, as I said they don't layer as well as the Albrecht Durer but they definitely seem to move a little bit more like traditional watercolor pencils and what people tend to expect from watercolor pencils. Um, so if you want some high quality traditional watercolor pencils, I honestly do not think that you can go wrong with the, um, with the Caran d'Ache Super Color. 
um, there's there's just no way you can go wrong with these these are just great great pencils um, so overall except of course for the price the price in the US is really high um, I would definitely look at what the prices are in your region try to try to catch them on sale you know um, try to see if you can get you know uh, you know maybe for your birthday or something but if you're interested in these sets take a look at the colors that are there um overall you will not be disappointed this is a lot a lot of fun to work with um and you can see that i have used them um quite a bit already so i'm super excited and i'm looking forward to getting more use out of this and <laughs> i did add the 120 to my list the 120 i think it's the i think i even added the 120 in the wood box to my list and i think you should too just add it to your list see what happens you never know um so anyway thank you guys so much for watching um let me know if you have any questions down in the comment um i did contact the winner of the amazon gift card and the uh, coloring book and i'm waiting to hear back and once i hear back we can announce who the winner is of that um if you are on instagram follow me on instagram we're going to start today we're going to start the well today that's taping so by the time you see this it's going to be a few days from now um it's weird um you're going to see my uh halloween october color along um, so there's that and don't forget to check out patreon where we will have um, a color along and then we have the patron of the month which is like a special new thing that I just started so I'm super excited about that and we'll see how that goes this month anyway thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye now he wasn't doing nothing all day look I stopped filming and I took a break and look he's not making any noise Watch when I go back to filming, he's gonna go back to making noise. Yeah. <laughs>